four sections of land were combed during the rabbit drives, and more than 98,000 men, women, and children took part in staging 269 drives. Okay, believe it or not, that was a Dust Bowl staple in western Kansas. Jackrabbit roundups, only they didn't just round them up, if you catch my drift. According to the same footage from that 1934 Kansas Emergency Relief Committee film, 923 rabbits were killed on average per drive. And you may be wondering why we're showing Depression-era film from a state a thousand miles away concerning Coney Carnage. Well, jackrabbit roundups weren't just contained to the plains of the middle America. They apparently happened a few times in eastern Idaho as well. And as early as 1897, Idahoans were holding jackrabbit drives annually. And apparently jackrabbits breed, well, like rabbits, and every 10 years their population peaks. And so to survive, they have to eat, of course. And that usually meant they ate farmers' crops and feed. But one such roundup in 1981 collected a lot more than jackrabbits. Boycotts were threatened, scathing pictures and film were processed and then published, and Idaho got a lot of negative attention back then. Be warned, we are about to show you some of those scathing images because 42 years ago tomorrow, Idaho was the center of a media frenzy with one of the last jackrabbit roundups in the Gem State being held in Mud Lake. Eastern Idaho farmers aren't letting the snow or threat of a nationwide boycott against their products stop the battle against millions of voracious jackrabbits. It was a battle that brought out big city reporters and hundreds of locals to Mud Lake. Armed as highlighted by the New York Times with pool cues, baseball bats, and homemade spears and golf clubs. To hold what they like to call old fashioned rabbit roundups. Against the backdrop of sub freezing temperatures, estimates ranging from 400 to 800 people showed up with the goal of getting rid of 15,000 jackrabbits, or what organizers called desert rats. The rabbits, contended the farmers, had it coming. At the peak of a 10 year breeding cycle, have destroyed millions of dollars in farm crops and are now destroying livestock feed. Why? They just eat us out of house and home. If we didn't fight them, they just they just starve my stock to death. And the hay they didn't eat, well, they would destroy with their droppings. Of course, animal rights groups got involved. But even Governor John Evans was without cause to stop it. Did they consider other ways to waylay the wabbits? Sure, but strychnine was set aside because the idea was to send the meat to Nigeria. And poison, eh, that wouldn't be good. As for shooting them? Yeah, that would be too expensive. And imagine more than 400 people gathered together, firing at moving targets. So going clubbing was the only option. Their plan was to herd the hares into pens and exterminate them according to the 4-H handbook, which might explain seeing kids involved, which shocked many who saw it happen. But as chairman of the Mud Lake Farmers Rabbit Committee, Orvin Twitchell was quoted as saying, he and many others would rather see those kids in that sagebrush than having them in front of a boob tube watching sex movies or drinking beer in Idaho Falls. And that wouldn't be the only drive that season. They're expected to continue through spring, and farmers are hoping to eliminate more than a million jackrabbits. Not sure if they ever got to a million, but I do know that that meat that was intended for Nigeria never made it. The two students, Nigerian students, that were supposed to buy that meat and then ship it to Nigeria, they just up and disappeared. You know, there actually was a lawsuit filed shortly after that roundup based on, of course, grounds of animal cruelty. A Jefferson County judge sided with the farmers and so did the Idaho Supreme Court. However, they did set up some ground rules. Here's what they said. No kids under 12 can participate and no one under 16 can enter the kill area. And making a game out of it, like baseball bunny or bunny baseball is what they called it, that was prohibited. They got rid of that. And any drive must be overseen by the county sheriff to make sure rule one and rule two are followed. So according to the Idaho press, there hasn't been a jackrabbit roundup in Mud Lake since.